What does a gold medal apple tree produce? First fruits. Hey, apple pies and little white lies. Do you give to the church or do you give elsewhere? What's your percentage? Today on the show, we are wrestling with the question, should Christians tithe? And don't worry, I know what you're thinking. Yes, of course they should. The Bible says so. And I would agree with you. And for a lot of people, that's the only reason that they tithe. Because the Bible says so, and they want to be a good little Christian. But the more that I look at the God of the Bible, and the more that I examine his character and how he relates to us, I have to believe that there is more to tithes and authorings than just a simple, because I said so. First, let's look back at where this whole idea of tithing came from in the first place. The word tithe is an old English word that literally literally means 10% or one tenth. And in the Old Testament, God commands the Israelites to give the first 10% of their crop to the Lord. These resources would then be given to the priests, the Levites, so that they could live and continue to do God's work on behalf of the nation of Israel. So we can sort of think of tithing in those days almost like a tax. Not like these Chicago taxes, though. That sales tax, it'll get you. This tithe was necessary in order to keep God's people going. Now, fast forward to the New Testament, and we actually see very little mention of tithing at all. In fact, Jesus, who spoke about money as much as he spoke about anything else, only talks about tithing once or twice, and it's always in somewhat of a negative context. Does this mean that Christians today shouldn't tithe? What we have to understand here is that God's original command to the Israelites was given under the law. And in the Old Testament, the law was humanity's main vehicle for communicating and relating to God. However, because of Jesus, we today no longer live under the law but under grace. We don't relate to God via law keeping anymore, but through a relationship with Christ. So, no tithing? I'm gonna keep my money. I'm gonna keep my money. Hold your horses. While I do believe that because of the new covenant, we as Christians are not required to tithe anymore, let's remember real quick the original intention for the tithe in the first place. The giving of your resources was done as a way to help the people or nation of God continue to grow. Isn't that something that we as Christians should still be doing today? If we are truly relating to God through the person of Jesus, then we will desire to dedicate, to give our resources to the building of God's kingdom here on earth. And that might mean giving to your local church, supporting someone who's going on a missions trip, or donating to any number of organizations around the world that are doing God's work. You see, while the New Testament doesn't talk very much about tithing, it speaks over and over again about the importance of giving. Everybody loves to point to Acts chapter 2 as the pinnacle, the blueprint for the modern church. And in it, we see that giving and generosity were a core practice of their gatherings. In 2 Corinthians 9-7, Paul says, Each one must give as he has decided in his heart not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Here is where I think we find a clear answer to our question. Should a Christian today tithe? Yes. And if for you that means giving 10%, I think that's a great starting point, but it also might mean giving more. Like we said, Jesus didn't teach much about tithing. But one thing we do see in the teachings of Jesus that is incredibly consistent across the board is he is always pushing us to go farther than simply just meeting the minimum requirements of the law. And I think Jesus does this because he's trying to point us, he's trying to push us to something deeper. The point isn't that the law isn't important anymore. The point is that everything is greater under the new covenant, and our generosity should be no different. Paul tells us that we should give cheerfully, not some exact 
preordained percentage, but what we have decided in our hearts. And when we give, we should do it for the right reasons. Not because we're feeling guilted or because someone told us to, but because in our hearts, we desire to contribute to the work that God is doing in the world. Giving is an expression of our love for God and our desire to invest in things eternal. It is yet another way that we can actively participate in God's purposes here on earth. Giving is so much more than just a number. Because when we give, when we dedicate our resources to work for God's kingdom, the return we get on that investment will be far greater than a number as well. It will be a need met for someone, a home built for a family. It could even mean a life changed. Hey friends, thank you for watching. I wanted to give you real quick a practical application for today's video. Today, I wanna to give you an opportunity to put this lesson into practice right away by giving through an organization called Donor C. Donor C is an organization that is changing the way mission efforts get funded all around the world. Through their app, you can visit a gigantic library of different ministries around the world, and you can sort of shop around for which one you might want to give to. And the best part, I think, is that when you give as little as a dollar, you will receive a photo or a video showing you the fruits of your generosity. So let's say that you donate to have a well built in a community that doesn't have clean drinking water. When you donate, you will receive photos of people who are going to that well. You will see videos of them drawing clean drinking water for the first time. Donor C is making giving easy, fun, and rewarding. And when they reached out to me and asked about sponsoring a video, I immediately thought of this one because I thought, what a powerful and practical way for us to begin to put this lesson of giving into practice. So if your heart has maybe been moved by this video and you want to start taking giving more seriously, visit the link in the description below, download the Donor C app, and begin to prayerfully consider which cause, which ministry, which mission you might want to give to. That's all I have for you today. I hope you're having a great week. I'll see you Wednesday for another episode of ADITW. I love you all. Keep being awesome.